In today's lesson, you will learn phrasal verbs with the word stop. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you some phrasal verbs that use the word stop. Number one, stop back. This means to return to a place at a later time, often used with later, as in stop back later. A sample sentence is, I'll stop back later after I'm done with work. Number two, stop by. This means to go to a place, usually for a short period of time, maybe not really planned out too much. Uh, sample sentence is, let's stop by the grocery store. I need some milk. When you're in town next time, please stop by my house and say hello. Now, drop by, come by, swing by, and come over all mean about the same thing. And some sample sentences with those are, we'll drop by his house on the way to work. Come by my house when you are in the neighborhood. Please come over to my house as soon as you can. He said he would swing by my place after school. And swing by as a noun, spelled with or without a hyphen, means to change the path or speed of a spacecraft using the gravitational field of a planet or other object, and is usually used to save propellant and reduce expense. It's also called a gravity assist. Voyager 1 and 2 spacecrafts use this method to reach interstellar space. <laughs> Number three, stop over. This also means to go to a place for a while, usually on the way to another place. As in, they will stop over at their friend's house tonight. Stop over as a noun means to go to and stay at a place during the journey to someplace else. It can mean a period of time or the place where you stay. Usually used when talking about flying. It's pretty much the same as a layover, except usually refers to a longer amount of time. A sample sentence is, we will have one stopover on the way to Hawaii. This means to fill or block a hole, gap or passage. As in, we need to stop up that leak before it makes a big mess. Or, her kitchen sink was stopped up last week. He had a cold and his nose was stopped up. Many people will say stuffed up instead of stopped up. In British English, it means to stay up later at night than usual. In American English, we would say stay up. Like on New Year's Eve, most people stay up pretty late. Here are some other differences with British English. Stop away. In British English means to not go back to a place on purpose. We don't really say that at all. Stop behind means to stay someplace after everyone else has left. We might use this in American English, but would be more likely to say stay behind. Stop in means to not go anywhere, to stay at home. We use stop in sometimes in American English, but with a different meaning. We mean it pretty much the same as stop by, as in stop in and say hello. Stop out means to go someplace and stay until late at night. In American English, we would say stay out. Okay, now it's time for the shark quiz, but it's just going to be on the American English definitions. So in this one, fill in the blanks with either stop back, stop by, stop over, or stop up. Number one, when you have some free time, please blank my place. Number two, last night the bathtub got blank. Number three, please blank again later when you're finished studying. Number four, let's blank at Anne's house on our way to the zoo. The answers are at the very end of this video, so please keep watching so you can see the correct answers. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. 
And you can also sign up to get emails to get more English help from me. And if you have time, then please watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. In some sample sentence with the... With Number four, stop up. This means to feel... He has... He has a cold and stop out means to go someplace and still for a while, usually 